Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about uh, operational planning. So last session we had discussed about operational planning. So operational planning, with the help of operational planning, we are going to frame a strategy. Strategy is nothing but you are having vision and mission. Vision is a long term goal. Mission is a short term goal. So operational planning is the day to day operations of the business. So not only for that uh, one department, so all the departments join together to achieve a common goal. So what are the advantages of operational planning? Today we are going to discuss what are the advantages of operational planning. Improved efficiency. Because in every organization, they are going to check it uh, whether it will be efficient or not. So with the help of operation planning, definitely the efficiency will improve. So you may find inefficiency, simplify procedures and better allocate resources with the aid of an operation plan. You can increase productivity and lower the operating expenses by getting rid of bottlenecks and redundant processes. So next strategic alignment. So if your operations follow your overall business strategy, your efforts will be focused on achieving your long term objective. That is a vision. So making decisions that are consistent with your strategic aim is made possible by having an operations plan which helps you stay on track. Resource optimization. So how to the resources will be optimized. How to allocate the resources in a correct way. That is the optimization. So with an operation plan, you can effectively allocate and manage your resources, including human capital, equipment, and finances. This optimization leads to improved productivity and cost effectiveness. So advantages, the same like that we are having the disadvantages also with the help of operation planning. So rigidity, so rigidity you are having uh, some hinders, uh, some hinder will happen. For example, if you are uh, transferring the goods from one place to another place, anything will happen like theft or uh, any accident will happen. So uh, uh, apart from that operation planning, we have to plan for another action. So an over, uh, overly rigid operations plan may hinder adaptability and responsiveness to unforeseen circumstances or market changes. It is essential to strike a balance between structure and flexibility in your plan also. For example, uh, you are manufacturing the television, but at the time you are having the budget. So in the budget, uh, the television rate is going down. Means definitely you are not uh, uh, selling the product in the fixed uh, fixed amount. So definitely you can reduce and sell it. So it's a rigidity. So immediately that circumstance uh, you have to take action. So resource constraint. Resource constraint is nothing but you are having some problem in the resources. So the creation and implementation of an operation plan may need additional time and financial resources. It's crucial to ascertain whether allocating these resources is viable before committing to a full plan. So with the help of this operation planning, what are the common benefits you will get? It means first clear direction and focus. You will get the clear direction where you are going. So what is your objective? So with the help of operation planning, you can direct easily. So clear direction and focus and improved efficiency and effectiveness and risk mitigation. Mitigation is nothing but you are going to how to manage the risk. That is the mitigation. So how to move? That is the risk mitigation then you are going to take a decision with the help of operation planning. So we already discussed clear direction and focus. So an improved efficiency and effectiveness, risk mitigation. So decision making is very important. So in case decision making is improved by having an operation plan, it plays uh, since it is more organized and informed, it offers a framework for weighing trade off assessing possibilities and coming to data-driven decisions that are in line with the overarching corporate strategy. So these are the benefits of that uh, operation plan. So next we are going to discuss process of creating an operation planning. So this is the process. First you have to start with define objective, identify key activities, allocate resources, Establish timeline, assess risk and develop mitigation strategies, monitor and evaluate. 
so next session we are going to discuss about the process of creating an operation plan so what is the process next we are uh, next session we are going to discuss thank you all for watching thank you all